in front of the Waffle House on Valentine's Day. Me personally, I am not a little bit surprised. I am very surprised. Well, nothing says I love you more than a hearty meal scattered, covered, and smothered with love right here from the Waffle House. Well, let's go ahead and go in and see it and get scattered, covered, and smothered with love. Let's do it. Amen. Here is the Waffle House that we ate at tonight. It's located in Lynchburg, Virginia at 2137 Wards Road. You can double your amount of hash browns that you get for just 50 cent more. All right, we are here with Timothy Wright. He is the manager at the Wards Road Waffle House. How you guys Timothy, doing? Timothy, you have everything looking so nice tonight, Thank so you festive. So much. Appreciate it. Let me ask you. How long have y'all been doing this? And can you just tell me a little bit about Valentine's at the Waffle House? Uh, we try to do it uh, every year. Sometimes it, uh, we'll rotate through different units. We did it at Madison Heights last year uh, due to it being a new store, try to get the community out that way. But now we do have the option. I'll be doing it every year. I also decorate for Christmas and uh, other holidays as well. Easter, we have Easter Bunny here. Christmas, I had Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, the Grinch. We had an elf stop by. Uh, for Valentine's Day at the Waffle House, it's a little unethical for people uh, to actually make reservations here. So Waffle House started doing it to try to get the community to join us here. Most people go to, you know, High Class, Olive Garden, Logan's. So we kind of, uh, Waffle House is a little bit of the odd man out. So we do the best we can to try to get out in the community, reach people that maybe have huge weights at other places, call us. We try to hook the guys up. Um, other than that, this is a lot of fun for us. We've all worked first and second shift trying to put this thing together and decorate and try to just get people to come see it. I feel like other restaurants don't really do a lot of decorating, but Absolutely. a lot of people do go there, you know? So I'm like, this is more community feel for me is bringing out actual Valentine's Day and love and decorating the restaurant. So we have a lot of fun with it. Well, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. We can't it wait is. to get in here and experience Valentine's Day at the Waffle House. As you can see, the Waffle House has brokered the tablecloths and the flower arrangements tonight. We have a table reserved for a party of three. As part of the Valentine's decorations, they had this area right here fixed up where you can take your pictures at. This is what the restaurant looks like as you walk into the inside. You notice they have Valentine's decorations up. They have tablecloths on the table. You see some flower arrangements on the tabletops. Over here you have some old boobs. And right here you see the jukebox. And the jukebox is continuously playing inside of the restaurant as you're eating. Right here you'll notice they have candles on top of the tables. This gives it that very romantic Valentine's Day feeling. For Valentine's Day, they have a special menu. You can get yourself a Valentine's Day T-bone dinner for two, which is T-bone steak and eggs for $25. A sirloin dinner for two, sirloin steak and eggs for $21. Pork chop dinner for two, pork chops and eggs for $20. And all meals will include hash browns or grits. And tonight for Valentine's Day, they're cooking the hash browns hot shakes. Here comes our food to the table. Okay. The steak looks good. Thank you. I ended up ordering the eggs with the T-bone steak, white toast, and the hash browns. The T-bone steak looks good. And I love the hash browns here. All right, Cindy, she ordered the scrambled eggs, the hash browns, white toast, and the chicken. Did you notice my hash browns were shaped like hearts for Valentine's Day? I see that. That's very cool. Love it. Look at this chicken. It looks so juicy. It was highly recommended, so I'm looking forward to trying it. Let me know what you think of it. It does look very juicy. It was described to me as being seasoned to perfection. 
And yes, it is seasoned to perfection. It's delicious. Well, I'm glad you like it. Because I know how you love chicken. Yeah, I do. Now, Carla, she ended up getting scrambled eggs, toast, and sliced tomatoes. So far, my meal's been very good. The eggs are good. The steak. Got it cooked good. Got some pink in it. You know how I love a medium steak. The T-bone is, is very good. And I love the hash browns. So, I've been very pleased with my meal so far. Everything's been delicious. Carla's food must be really good. She's already eaten all her eggs and all of her toast is just about gone. Are you enjoying it, Carla? If you notice, this hash brown is shaped just like a heart. It is so cute. Now, Serva just brought our ticket to the table. And at the very bottom is the total. Everything came to $35.50. Dave, that's unbelievable. A big old T-bone steak like you got, and the total for all three of us, $35.50. Now that's a deal. That is a good price, because I had uh, a T-bone steak, you had the chicken, we both had eggs, we had hash browns, toast, and then Carla had the eggs and toast. And that's not bad for all that food. Absolutely not. We're right here with Capri. She greeted us before we even got into <laughs> the building. That's how friendly she is. And we just love that kind of service. Thank you. You also recommended that chicken to me. Yes, ma'am. And let me tell you, that did not disappoint. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was delicious. All right. All right. Y'all uh, come to the Waffle House. Come over here and see Capri. She is absolutely What's awesome. What's wrong? Come see us. Well, I think that we have definitely surprised some of our subscribers by coming to the Waffle House for Valentine's Day, but boy, was it good. i tell you what, I really enjoyed my visit to the Waffle House tonight. As soon as we got out the car, some of the employees were around behind the restaurant. They greeted us right then and there, made you feel welcome. Waving at you through the windows. I just love that. And you know, a, a lot of places now, customer service is, is a thing of the past. But when we came here tonight, they made you feel welcome. They wanted us to be here. Everybody was just super nice. The manager, he was super friendly, came over and checked on us several times. And he was telling us about some special events that they do throughout the year. And really looking forward to coming back, checking out some of these events that's going on. As far as my food tonight, everything was great. I loved my T-bone steak. I always come to the Waffle House for breakfast. I love the eggs and bacon. But... I tell you what, that T-bone steak with the eggs and those hash browns hit the spot. That was one of my favorite meals. You know, never thought I'd be eating at a Waffle House for Valentine's Day, but I sure am glad we came here tonight and tried it. You know, we used to always go to Crown Sterling for Valentine's Day. That was our place to go. It was a tradition, and then they closed. And so we were trying to decide what to do, and then we saw that they celebrate Valentine's Day here and decorate. So we got to try that this year, and I'm so glad we did. The food was awesome, and it was so much fun. And I do want to do the shout out to all the employees. I know David's already mentioned it. Tyler, who was our waiter, he actually does the shout outs, and he trains. I think he said he trained like in 18 different stores or something like that, David. He trains them how to call the orders out. Great job on that. Um, you saw me talking to Capri for a little bit. Again, so friendly. The thing that really stands them out from other places that we've been is they all express how much they enjoy their job and you could tell that and that's what really made our experience so good so definitely shout out to you guys awesome staff in there couldn't ask for you know better people to serve you. and how did you like your food my food yeah wonderful that chicken capri is the one who recommended that and she was on time with that it was so good. It was marinated. It was delicious. Very juicy. Of course, the eggs and cheese I always like, and the toast, hash browns, and a little heart. I mean, you got to love those little extra touches. And even Tim, the manager, he did those special for us and bought us another one in the heart shape for the hash brown. And that was really cool. He said he rushed on the first ones and he wasn't pleased. So that really meant a lot bringing an extra one to our table. And he did a, that was made perfect. It was. How about you, Carla? How did you enjoy your experience at the Waffle House tonight? I really enjoyed my food. Everything was great, including the people. They were all nice. 
And I really hope we come back soon, very soon, like even tomorrow. <laughs> well, you really must have liked it. I did. All the people were so sweet. My food was absolutely delicious. I ate like seven, no, I ate like six to seven pieces of toast. That toast was fabulous. Same with the eggs. It was delicious, out of this world even. And I will say, the cooks behind the counter, they work at a fast pace, so they only move constantly putting their new orders and they don't waste no time in here they so get like your food stuff, to you quick so stuff like that to be that good has to mean the people are very good workers well y'all don't have anything else to say let's go ahead and close this thing out carly why don't y'all show us some love and hit that subscribe button and that like button it's it's just a click of the button it helps us out a ton and y'all don't even realize it y'all don't even have to pay a thing but we get paid so it's pretty nice. Well, folks, we hope y'all enjoyed this video from the Waffle House. We hope y'all had a happy thanks. I mean, a happy Valentine's Day. And we appreciate you watching. Like Carly said, hit that like button, ring that notification bell. Please subscribe and help us out. We sure would appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Until the next video, thank y'all for watching and God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye.